Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for your support. And if it's the first time you're passing through, please either subscribe, comment, like or share. It's up to you. Um, today I am responding to about three people who have asked me, well actually it's more than three, but three actual subscribers have asked me to comment on Amber Geiger. And to be honest, I thought it had been pretty rinsed out. But I do like to honour my um, subscribers and give them what they want. And it, they obviously value my opinion to ask me to speak on it. And so I know it's a controversial subject. I tend to be quite a controversial person. So I'm going to tell you what I think. I know I did a video when this first happened last year in September. I cannot find the link. I'm still looking, but I know I did one. So I don't know what I called it, but obviously I didn't call it Botham Jean and I didn't call it Amber Geiger. So I don't know what I called it, so I can't find it. Anyway, the fact of the matter is we all know that um, Botham Jean was an innocent black man who was in his house or in his apartment when he was shot by Amber Geiger. Now back then when it first happened my instincts told me that well my instincts told me that they were having some kind of relationship or maybe she wanted a relationship with him but he rejected her. That was my um, take on it. I believe, I strongly believe that he rejected her advances and a woman scorned is not somebody to be played with. So that is my take on it. I, and I think that can only be the only justifiable reason why that happened. Now, the fact that she is saying that she went into his apartment thinking it was hers, it's on the wrong floor, um, a different mat is outside that makes it obvious that it's not her apartment, whether or not she was talking to a, uh, some kind of sex partner or not, it doesn't make any difference. Even if you're distracted, you are going to know whether or not your front door is your front door. The fact that, okay, if they reckon the door wasn't forced, did she have a key? They reckon that the door was slightly ajar. If the door was slightly ajar, is that the reason why she claimed she thought there was an intruder in there? Now, that poor boy who, um, who um, was, was, you know, was a witness then, an unprotected witness who said that, he did not hear any warnings where, before she shot him or before he heard the shots. What a shame. I believe he was taught a lesson for interfering, for messing around with her integrity. Because these, these policemen don't want any of their officers discredited. And what he had in fact done inadvertently was discredited a police officer. And I believe that's why he was shot. Now, they claim they're trying to associate him with drugs and make him look like a bad guy. But that poor boy, can you imagine standing up as a, as a witness against white police officers with no protection? Who would protect him anyway? And I also believe that this is where, um, in a racist America, where people, where police officers can be racist, that they thought Botham Jean's life did not matter. I believe she thought that she could kill him and get away with it. That's what I believe. I don't believe she thought she was going to do time for it. I think she thought she was going to get off, but there was just too many things against her. What I don't understand is why his 18-year-old brother would ask to give her a hug. I mean, that's not about forgiveness, is it? It's not. It's about placating. Um, it's about having a colonial mind and trying to placate, pl placate or rescue a white person who is made to feel uncomfortable in front of black people. 
That is what that was about. He was rescuing her. I don't know why he felt the need to rescue her. Maybe he dates a white woman. I don't know. But to be honest, I cannot imagine someone killing my brother and me wanting to go and hug him or her. I can't imagine. I can imagine saying to that person, I forgive you, but I'll never forget what you've done. I cannot imagine hugging. But there again, he's a young boy. He's impressionable. And who knows? Even the judge hugged her. I mean, that was totally inappropriate. I mean, I understand that you can have compassion with people who cry because it's a human element in any of us. And as for the British, we, we, we always go for the underdog. Anyone who's crying, anyone who seems to be um, badly treated or might be wrongfully treated or you feel as though they're being victimised, whether or not they're wrong or right, for some reason the underdog always seems to get the sympathy or the empathy and I think that was the case in this in this situation. Um, I think also that it is such a sad state of affairs, the mother and the father distraught because their 26 year old son is dead. Look how good looking he was. And you know, she got 10 years. Can you imagine if that situation was reversed? Can you imagine if a black man killed a white woman, let alone a white cop? Can you imagine the repercussions of that? So I don't understand. For one minute they're saying she got 10 years, then they're saying she's going to spend the rest of her life, sorry, the rest of her life in prison. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if she's going to get off with good behaviour. I don't know if they're going to appeal. I mean, she's saying that she thought he was um, somebody in her apartment. I don't understand how you, as a police officer, can think that you have somebody in your apartment and you still go in, you don't call for backup, and you try to deal with that situation yourself. You don't know how many people are in your apartment, if, if that's what you claim. And then what else makes it suspicion is that the officer's telling her to turn off the dash cam or telling someone to turn off the dash cam. The whole thing reeks... Um, intentional murder and like I said I believe and you know what other what else puzzled me the mother was saying that um, she was sexually assaulted by somebody she was dating now I don't know if it was somebody her mother was dating or if it was somebody Amber Geiger was dating then it made me wonder so was that person who sexually assaulted her black and if he wasn't black what is the relevance? It doesn't seem that she goes for her own kind because the person who she is was talking to and having and um, exchanging sexual explicit messages was Latino. So that tells me that she is not somebody who sticks to her kind. She's somebody who likes a bit of flavor, a bit of passion. And I, you know, I might be wrong, but I really believe that she tried it on with um, Botham Jean. He looks like a pretty decent guy to me. Um, I think he rejected her. Could be wrong, but that's me as a woman. And they say a woman scorned is a deadly woman. And she just shot him. Under the guise that she's a police officer. She knows her rights. I mean, technically, if she claims that this was her home, she can stand her ground and shoot anybody who's in her in her home. So that is what she's claiming she did. She went into her apartment, saw a man there sitting down, eating ice cream, and decided to shoot him because she thought he was a robber or whatever, or an intruder. The fact that your door is open, if that's what she claims, or if that's what of evidence shows to me you would not go into that your apartment if I came home from work one evening and my door was open I'm not going in as a female gun or no gun I am not going in I don't know how many people are in there waiting for me 
So why would you go into your apartment if you believe there's an intruder in there and don't ask for backup? So I smell a rat as usual and you ask for my opinion and that's it really. I don't think there's anything I need to... Um, I need to say, I just felt sorry for the um, the young boy, you know, who testified and got shot. I mean, he was so distraught anyway about the situation because both of them, Jean, was his friend. But like I said, you know, um, people saying it's a racist thing. I think it's racist in the sense that in a racist society, she might have thought she could get off. But I don't believe the actual act was racist. I believe it was emotional, what they call a crime of passion. That's what I believe. But because um, there's so much cover up and because it's not coming out in the open and as far as they're concerned, she probably does. If she associated herself with him in that kind of way, you know, she wouldn't stand a chance in hell. So it just looks like she went in there, shot him and the mother wants answers. Of course you want answers. You're not going to get a cop randomly going in and shooting someone for the hell of it. You're not going to know regardless of how racist they are. That person would have to provoke you. So anyway, that's my take on the matter. I hope it satisfies you. Bye bye for now.